guys this is Goldie again and in this video I will show you how you can set up or add cloud identity subscription to your existing Google Workspace account. You might need Google Cloud Identity for two uh, cases. Number one would be that you have some users which might not require Google Workspace licenses. They don't need email, uh, calendar, etc. They only need to log in to some of the applications that your organization offers where they will be using Google as their identity provider. Second use case would be that you have some users who would only need access to Google Cloud Platform which uses Google Cloud Identity for authentication. So for that if you have workplace already it's pretty easy as you see on my screen I'm in Google Admin Console you should be able to log in to admin.google.com by putting your admin credentials. Once you are in your admin credentials, you will need to go to billing and check your subscriptions and you will find your Google subscription here. Okay, You need to click on add or upgrade a subscription and when you do that, there is a category for cloud identity. Click on that and it will show you two options, free and premium. And depending on your use case, you can uh, take any of these cloud identity free doesn't say trial because it's free so I'll go ahead and get started and it shows me you know some terms so if you want to read it go ahead and then click on get started and it says free plan no payment needed wonderful I go ahead and check that out and I will place the order with zero dollars or free and now I have cloud identity okay now it says review auto licensing assignments what happens is when you create a Google workspace user if you have auto licensing enabled which essentially means as soon as the user is created a license will be assigned to that user so if you have Google workspace license automation enabled when you create a user that user will automatically get the Google workspace license if you do not want that to take place, turn it off so that you can manually decide who will then get the Google Workspace license. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So I'll say review the licensing. Okay, license, uh, license uh, settings. Okay, it says automatic uh, license on. I will turn this to off. Okay, and I save it. Now because I've saved it, if I now go and create more users, they will get the cloud identity free license instead of Google Workspace license. Okay, so if I create, let's say, a test account, click on add new user, click on done, click on done, do a quick refresh, click on that user and if I scroll down a bit you will see that one license assigned and that is cloud identity free because once you have cloud identity in place every user you create in your Google tenant will automatically get a cloud identity free license unless you have the Google workspace auto licensing enabled so I hope this well, this was helpful if you have any questions or comments please feel free to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate with that. Thank you so much.